political parties, including an independent candidate, have all confirmed their participation of May 23 by election. The MPP has NSEO Enim competing to retain the seat for the ruling party. Main election are ever basu here by election. Mekano Baby Baby is an independent candidate. Why a crado? Sir, or prepare no ho, si can sem, and a more baby or yes, or by this city every MPP in sem. But me dear, me who is there? Many men you know more. Ye jina ye jina, and what she. We know the independent candidate has prepared well for this election, but we are not ready to lose the Kumawu seat. But he will have to beat competition from Kwekudria, who garnered over 11,000 votes during the 2020 parliamentary election against the late Philip Basua, who had a little over 14,000. <laughs> Before you vote, make sure you look into your standard of living and vote wisely. We see Amankwa, the NDC candidate, seeks to reclaim the seat after losing it in 1996. Year after year, and there's not a single project in Kumo that MPP can confidently say that they've done. All the good things in Kumo, especially the water, have been provided by NDC. And there's no reason why Kumewu should be an MPP seat. The Convention People's Party has elder Ebenezer Bwachi Adam, who will capitalize on inadequate development of the Kumewu constituency to win in the seat for the first time. The ruling party, that is NPP, hasn't done much for the people of Kumewu. Uh, let's say if you compare Kumewu to that of Fidiasi, Fidiasi is seeing massive uh, development and then improvement. But Kumau, uh, we see, we've seen now. Yeah, we believe strongly in that that we have strong relationship with the youth, and then uh, most of the aged as well. So we do believe that with that, we'll be able to retrieve the seat from the NPP. The electoral commission has set May 23 for the Kumau by election.